Do you feel like you don't speak enough Hungarian? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, this is Lena from HungarianPod101.com and this is Top Words. Today we are going to learn 15 favorite words chosen by fans. Let's go! Opa, father, opa, father. Apa minden nap kocsival megy dolgozni. My father goes to work by car every day. Bocsánat. Sorry. Bocsánat. Sorry. Sorry. You can use this expression to say that you are sorry when you are bumping into someone or you did something wrong. We have another expression to say excuse me, which is elnézést. This, is, uh, this has uh, a little bit different nuance and um, you can use that when you are calling the waiter, for instance, but don't use bocsánat at that time. Boldog. Happy. Boldog. Happy. A hugom boldog volt, mikor meglátta az ajándékát. My younger sister was happy when she saw her present. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. Bye. This word is coming from, I think, Italian. It's kind of a slang. It's cool to say to your friends. Finom. Tasty. Finom. Tasty. Nagyon finom a húslevés. The meat soup is very tasty. Do you like meat soup? Köszönöm. Thank you. Köszönöm. Thank you. This is a simple way to say thank you in Hungarian. If you want to express more gratitude, then you can say Nagyon köszönöm. Thank you very much. So yeah, köszönöm. Nagyszerű. Awesome. Nagyszerű. Awesome. You can use this expression with uh, everyone, but if you want to sound more cool with your friends or with younger people, then you can say kirai or cool. Okay. 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 This is kind of a casual slangish way to talk. If you are talking to strangers or you are in a more formal situation, then probably it's better to say rendben one, which means it's all right. So use okay with your friends and with younger people. Sure, beer, sure, beer. Utálom a sört. I hate beer. That's the truth. Kocsma, pub, kocsma, pub. Néha elmegyek a kocsmába a barátaimmal. Sometimes I go to the pub with my friends. Szabadság. Day off. Holiday. Szabadság. Day off. Holiday. Májusban szabadságot veszek ki. I take a holiday in May. Szeret. To love. Szeret. To love. Szeretem a csokoládét. I love chocolate. Szia! Hello! Szia! Hello! Szia is the way we greet each other with friends or you can greet younger people. Um, you can use this with uh, um, strangers or older people in case they allow you to use uh, informal language with them. They will say that it's okay. Szia can be used both when you are meeting someone or when you part, so it can be either hello or bye. Tisztel, to respect. Tisztel, to respect. Tisztelem azokat, akiktől tanulok valamit. I respect those from whom I can learn something. Titok, secret. Titok, secret. Egy titok okozta a bajt. A secret. Cause the trouble. 
And that's the end. Thank you again for watching Hungarian Top Words. Please check our website hungarianpod101.com for more Hungarian content. And don't forget to subscribe and leave some comments below which was your favorite word. See you next time. Hello everyone, this is Lena and this is Hungarian Top Words. Today we are going to learn 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Köszönöm, de igazság szerint nem ez az anyanyelvem. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. Köszönöm, de igazság szerint nem ez az anyanyelvem. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. If you are super fluent in the language and then people comment or even think that you are from that country and then you say that then people are going to be really surprised. Mindössze egy évbe telt, hogy megtanuljak folyékonyan beszélni. It took me only one year to become fluent. Mindössze egy évbe telt, hogy megtanuljak folyékonyan beszélni. It took me only one year to become fluent. When people ask you how long have you been studying a language and then you say it took you just a year to become fluent, then it's definitely impressive. Három éven belül anyanyelvi szinten fogok magyarul beszélni. I'll speak Hungarian like a native speaker in three years. Három éven belül anyanyelvi szinten fogok magyarul beszélni. I'll speak Hungarian like a native speaker in three years. Please challenge yourself and let us know if it worked out. I'm really curious how long it took for our viewers to get in, not only into native level, but like just conversational level. Try it. Tíz éve tanulok magyarul. I've been learning Hungarian for 10 years. Tíz éve tanulok magyarul. I've been learning Hungarian for 10 years. How about you? How long have you been studying Hungarian? Please let us know in the comment section. Magyar filmeket felirat nélkül is tudok nézni. I can watch Hungarian movies without subtitles. Magyar filmeket felirat nélkül is tudok nézni. I can watch Hungarian movies without subtitles. To be able to watch Hungarian movies without subtitles, I think you have to be pretty much on a native speaker level. Depends on the movie too, but uh, sometimes you hear slangs or regional uh, language, then that could be a little bit difficult to understand. I think it's a good challenge to try how fluent you are to watch a movie without the subtitles and then, for example, have a discussion with your friends about the movie afterwards, that could be a really good practice. Meg tudok jegyezni 50 magyar szót egy nap alatt. I can memorize 50 Hungarian words a day. Meg tudok jegyezni 50 magyar szót egy nap alatt. I can memorize 50 Hungarian words a day. Memorizing 50 words a day is pretty impressive. I think I've never tried that much. A magyar nyelv szórakoztató és könnyen tanulható. Hungarian is fun and easy to learn. A magyar nyelv szórakoztató és könnyen tanulható. Hungarian is fun and easy to learn. That's right. Hungarian language is very interesting, I think. We have a lot of sounds, various ways how we can talk about something or even say a word. Because of that, our literature is pretty uh, rich as well. If you are looking for a fun language, which is not really widespread yet, <laughs> then please try out Hungarian. A magyar nyelven kívül egyéb nyelveken is beszélek. Apart from knowing Hungarian, I can speak a few other languages as well. A magyar nyelven kívül egyéb nyelveken is beszélek. Apart from knowing Hungarian, I can speak a few other languages as well. I speak Hungarian, English and Japanese fluently. 
How about you? How many languages do you speak? Magamtól tanulok magyarul. I'm learning Hungarian all by myself. Magamtól tanulok magyarul. I'm learning Hungarian all by myself. That's very impressive, I think, if people ask you, how do you study Hungarian? And if you say, oh, it's all by myself because I'm interested, then they'll be both happy and impressed. I wonder if there are any sources in your country to study Hungarian or are you going to uh, language school or do you take lessons from a teacher or are you just studying on your own? I'm very interested, so please let us know in the comment section. Gyakran beszélek magyarul álmomban. I often speak in Hungarian in my dream. Gyakran beszélek magyarul álmomban. I often speak in Hungarian in my dream. That's a very interesting thing that if you get to that level that you start to think and even dream in a foreign language, then probably you're really good at it. And this is the end of our list. If someone speaks your language and then um, they say one of these phrases, then how would you react? Please write about it in the comment section and please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check hungarianpod101.com for more Hungarian content and see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Jó reggelt! Szia! Hogy hívnak? Anne Smith. Én Pál Balázs vagyok. Szia! Ö, Balázs? Igen, Balázs. Örülök, hogy megismertelek. Én is. Honnan jöttél? Angol vagy? Nem angol vagyok. Amerikai vagyok. És te? Én magyar vagyok. Tetszik Budapest? Igen, Budapest szép. Amerika is szép. Szerintem is. Jó napot kívánok! Jó napot, kisasszony. Hogy van? Jól vagyok, köszönöm. És ön? Én is köszönöm szépen. Foglaljon helyet. Köszönöm. Á, ah, szia! Szia, Ann! Ez már a Blaha? Igen. Meddig mész? Az Astoriaig megyek. A következő az Astoria. Köszi. Hogy írja a nevét? A, N, N, E, S, M, I, T, H. Köszönöm. Kérem az útlevelét. Parancsoljon. Köszönöm. Itt írja alá, kérem. Igen, már is. Okay, focus! Hi everyone, this is your host Lena from HungarianPod101.com. Today, top words video topic is top 10 phrases you'll need for a date. Let's go. Velem vacsoráznál. Velem vacsoráznál. Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Velem vacsoráznál. Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Yeah, it's a very common question if you are asking someone out for a dinner date in Hungary. So if you hear this, the person wants to go out to a dinner with you. Ráérsz ezen a hétvégén? Ráérsz ezen a hétvégén? Are you free this weekend? Ráérsz ezen a hétvégén? Are you free this weekend? This is not necessarily a suggestion for a date, but you can use it if you are not sure if the person is interested in you. 100%, like in a romantic way, maybe just as a friend. But still, this question is safe to ask if you want to hang out with the person during the weekend. Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Would you like to hang out with me? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Would you like to hang out with me? 
This is quite a casual question in Hungarian. The nuance is quite casual, so it's not referring to any romantic um, date suggestion. So it's just like you can say it to your buddies, like, would you like to hang out with me? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Yeah, you can use it that way, but at the same time, again, if you're not sure if the other person whom you like uh, likes you back the same way, but you just, you know, want to spend time with the person, feel free to ask this question. It's safe. Annyira aranyos vagy. Annyira aranyos vagy. You are so cute. Annyira aranyos vagy. You're so cute. Yes, this is a nice compliment. Annyira aranyos vagy. Yes. I like that. And I like to say it to other people too. Even though I might be not interested in a romantic way in them. But yeah, if you like a guy or if you're like a girl, they will probably be very happy if you say this to them. Remekül nézel ki. Remekül nézel ki. You look great. Remekül nézel ki. You look great. Again, this is a compliment which is safe to use and it just makes people feel good. So use it either in a friendly or a romantic way. Nagyszerű este volt. Nagyszerű este volt. That was a great evening. Nagyszerű este volt. That was a great evening. Uh, at the end of your date night, don't forget to thank the person who went out with you. And a great way to do that is to say this sentence. Majd hívlak. Majd hívlak. I'll call you. Majd hívlak. I'll call you. <laughs> this is tricky. The person can mean it or not. Hány órakor találkozzunk holnap? Hány órakor találkozzunk holnap? What time should we meet tomorrow? Hány órakor találkozzunk holnap? What time should we meet tomorrow? Use this question when you would like to arrange the date or just an appointment with someone. It can be used either way. Just arrive on time. Láthatlak újra? Láthatlak újra? Can I see you again? Láthatlak újra? Can I see you again? It's a positive sign after a date if you get this question. I think in Hungary it's used mainly by men so that they show that they are interested in their date. No, I don't say it to guys, sorry, no. Okay, use this question if you are interested in meeting your date. Ah, oh, next time. Menjünk más hova? Menjünk más hova? Shall we go somewhere else? Menjünk más hova? Shall we go somewhere else? Use this question when you would like to switch places. For example, you want to try another location to hang out or you don't like the place where your date is, but you don't want to say it directly, so you can just ask Menjünk más hova? And then, yeah, you can switch places. This is the end of our list. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know in a comment what other questions or compliments you would say during a date. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe. And check out our site hungarianpod101.com for more great content. See you next time. Bye.
Hi everyone, this is Lena and you're watching HungarianPod101.com's top words and today's topic is 20 words you'll need for the beach. Let's go! Napsemüveg Sunglasses Napsemüveg which means sunglasses. Épp most vettem egy új napszemüveget. I just bought a pair of sunglasses. Strand Beach Strand Beach A strand nincs messze a hotelünktől. The beach is not far away from our hotel. Úszás Swimming Úszás Swimming Az úszás a kedvenc sportom. My favorite sport is swimming. What is your favorite sport? Do you like swimming? Tell us in the comment section. Nap Sun Nap Sun A nap fényesen süt. The sun shines bright. Pálmafa Palm tree Pálmafa Palm tree Pálmafák sorakoznak az út mentén. There are palm trees along the road. Kagyló Szísá Kagyló Szísá Szeretek kagylókat gyűjteni a parton. I like gathering seashells on the shore. Yeah, that's actually true. So whenever I go to the beach, I wait until the sun is down. So I like walking along the shore and then collecting some nice seashells. Ocean 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 Még sosem láttam az óceánt. I've never seen the ocean. Vizimentő Lifeguard Vizimentő Lifeguard A vizimentő épp most mentett ki egy kisfiút a medencéből. The lifeguard just saved a young boy from the pool. Jetski 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 Egy piros és egy kék jetski van a parton. There is a red and a blue jetski on the shore. Strandszék Beach chair Strandszék Beach chair Hány strandszéket hoztál? How many beach chairs did you bring? Homokvár Sandcastle Homokvár Sandcastle a gyerekek homokvárat építenek. Children build a sand castle. Hűtőtáska. Cooler bag. Hűtőtáska. Cooler bag. Sokféle gyümölcslé van a hűtőtáskában. There is lots of kinds of juice in the cooler bag. Apály. Low tide. Apály. Low tide. Apálykor megtelik a strand a turistákkal. At low tide, the beach fills up with tourists. Napbarnítottság Tan Napbarnítottság Tan Az emberek úgy tartják, hogy a napbarnítottság egészséges külsőt ad. People say that getting a tan gives you a healthy look. Búvárkodás Snorkling Búvárkodás Snorkling ezen a részen megengedett a búvárkodás. In this area, snorkeling is allowed. Strandpapucs Flip-flop Strandpapucs Flip-flop A strandpapucsom narancsárga. My flip-flop is orange. And that's true. Fényvédő Sunscreen Fényvédő Sunscreen Hoztál fényvédőt magaddal? Did you bring sunscreen with you? It's very important to have, especially for me. Bikini 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 A kirakatban láttam egy rózsaszín bikinit. I saw a pink bikini in the shop window. Napernyő Parasol Napernyő Parasol Szükségem van egy napernyőre, mert erősen süt a nap. I need a parasol because the sun is shining too strongly. And I brought my... It's not a parasol, but almost. <laughs> yeah. Ye cream. Ice cream. Ye cream. 
Ice cream. Szereted a jégkrémet? Do you like ice cream? Do you like ice cream? And this is the end. Thank you for watching. Please tell us which was your favorite one and let us know uh, what you're doing during the summer, what is your favorite activity or what is your favorite summer item. Please let us know what's your absolutely necessary item on the beach. Don't forget to subscribe and check our website hungarianpod101.com. See you next time. Bye. You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. A város déli része felé. You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long-distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the eighth row in seat C. Nyolcadik sor, C hely. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long-distance buses. On which days are there no buses running? On which days are there no buses running? There are no buses running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Ünnepnapokon, minden hónap harmadik vasárnapján. You are at a bus stop where you're waiting for the 301 bus. There is a notice posted on the bus timetable. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, the 301 bus does not stop here. A 301-es bus itt nem áll meg. You just got off a bus at a bus terminal and you're looking to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank?
Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Keleti kiárat. Want to speak real Hungarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HungarianPod101.com. Can you really learn a new language all alone? Learning a language without traditional classroom instruction may seem quite daunting at first. What if you run into questions? How do you stay on track and motivated to achieve your goals? Don't worry. Not only is it possible to learn any language without traditional classroom instruction, we have created an advanced and extensive online language learning system to help you do just that. It's designed to help you learn a language on your own and is faster, more convenient, and less expensive than traditional classroom options. Here are three reasons to learn a language alone. Number one, learn at your own pace and on your own schedule. In today's fast-paced world, there isn't always time for traditional classroom instruction. But when you learn alone, you can study anywhere and any time that suits your schedule best. It makes it far easier to actually reach your goal of learning and mastering the language. Number two, learning a language on your own can reduce stress and anxiety. In traditional classroom settings, there are pop quizzes, tests, and presentations in front of classmates. While it's valuable to learn public speaking skills and to be able to perform under pressure, for some people, these classroom pressures are a big hurdle for their language learning dreams. Learning alone, however, removes these stressors. Learning outside of a traditional classroom setting can help reduce some of the stress you may feel, and you can work towards your goals all on your own. Number three, learning alone can help improve cognitive function. While classroom settings often require learners to spend lots of time memorizing information and following instructions, studying a language on your own requires you to problem solve so that you can self-teach and hit your goals. You'll also need to be strict with yourself and stick to a regular study schedule. So yes, in some ways, learning a language on your own can be more challenging than learning in a traditional classroom setting. But teaching yourself a language pays dividends throughout life. In addition to learning a language, you'll also learn time management and problem-solving skills. These are skills that will aid you when social and professional opportunities arise. So, how do you actually learn a language on your own? Number one, access our huge collection of audio and video lessons. Ideally, you want audio and or video lessons that teach vocabulary, grammar, and provide actual conversations and dialogue in your target language to help you with real pronunciation. We have hundreds of hours of HD audio and video lessons on our website, created by professional teachers and actors to help you achieve perfect pronunciation. Plus, all lessons can be accessed 24-7 via any device with internet access. Number two, learning paths with courses based upon your exact needs and goals. Simply tell us your goals and we will identify the best courses and study plan to help you reach them in the shortest time possible. Even though you are technically learning a language on your own, our team is always here to help and make sure you reach your goals fast. Number three, use advanced learning tools. When you have the right tools and learning resources, it's actually easy to teach yourself a language. Over the last 10 years, we've developed, tested, and refined more than 20 advanced learning tools. These tools aim to boost retention and reduce learning time. Eliminate stress and start learning at your own pace, in bed, your car, or wherever you have a few spare minutes. Our learning resources and tools are designed to help you get to the next level in the fastest, easiest, and most fun way. Just click the link in the description to sign up for a free lifetime account. So if you want to learn language anytime, anywhere, sign up for a free lifetime account by clicking the link in the description. Sign up takes less than 30 seconds. Click the link in the description and start learning right away. I'll see you there. Bye. Hi, I'm Livia. Nice to meet you. In this series, we are going to learn basic Hungarian expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Hungarian. There are only two sentences you need to do it. But first, it is important to clarify that in Hungarian, there's a difference between the formal 
and the informal language. Let's first see how Hungarian people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Szia, Lívia vagyok. Örvendek. Hi, I'm Lívia. Nice to meet you. Szia, Lívia vagyok. Örvendek. Start by saying Szia. Then say your name and then vagyok. Szia, Lívia vagyok. Finally say Örvendek. Szia, Lívia vagyok. Örvendek. And now let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Jó napot kívánok, Szöllősi Lívia vagyok. Örvendek. Good day, I'm Lívia Szöllősi. Nice to meet you. Jó napot kívánok, Szöllősi Lívia vagyok. Örvendek. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these together. Szia has been substituted with the formal greeting Jó napot kívánok. Hungarian for good day. Lívia vagyok has not been changed. Vagyok stands in both cases for I am. However, during a formal self-introduction, we also say our last name, so I said Szöllősi Lívia. Here, you would say your full name. Note that for Hungarian people, family names come first, followed by the given name. However, you don't have to reverse your name when introducing yourself. You can say Örvendek in both situations. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Hungarian is Szia, Lívia vagyok, Örvendek. The formal way to introduce yourself is Jó napot kívánok, Szöllősi Lívia vagyok, Örvendek. And now it's time for Lívia's tips. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands. Jó napot kívánok is a very formal expression. Sometimes people just say Jó napot when greeting each other. Both are polite, so you don't have to worry about making a mistake. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Hungarian. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Készen álltok? Are you ready? Akkor kezdjük. So let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Köszönöm. Köszönöm. Köszönöm means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add szépen. Köszönöm szépen. Köszönöm szépen. Köszönöm szépen is like saying thank you kindly. During the last lesson, we mentioned both the informal and the formal way of speaking Hungarian. Köszönöm is the more formal way to thank someone. If you want to be more casual, there's another phrase you should use. Köszi. Köszi. Köszi is an abbreviation of köszönöm, meaning thanks. You would use this phrase when talking to friends. How do you answer? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is nincs mit. Nincs mit. Nincs mit literally means nothing to thank for, but it is the equivalent of you are welcome. The other way to say you are welcome is the expression szívesen, szívesen. Literally, this phrase means kindly, but it has become a common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone says köszönöm to you, simply reply with nincs mit or szívesen. Now it's time for Livia's tips. You can use both köszönöm and köszönöm szépen in informal situations. But be careful about kösi, since it is really casual. Don't use it with superiors or people you have just met. In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in Hungary. Készen álltok? Are you ready? Akkor kezdjük. So let's start. The most commonly used informal greeting is Szia. Szia. Szia means hi, hello or goodbye. We use it when we meet, but also when we leave. We should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. If there are more people present, you should use Sziasztok, which basically means hi guys. Now let's continue by discussing the formal way to greet people. Jó napot. 
jó napot. Literally, jó napot means good day. In the morning, we say jó reggelt, which means good morning. Jó reggelt. During the evening, we say jó estét. Jó estét. Este is Hungarian for evening, but when saying good evening, you have to say estét. When saying goodbye in formal situations, Hungarian people use viszont látásra. Viszont látásra. Viszont látásra means goodbye. You can also use its shorter form, viszlát, which is less formal. You can say this to a shop assistant, for example. With your friends, you should use szia when speaking to one person, or sziasztok when there are more people present. Szia. Sziasztok. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Hungarian. Let's look at them all again. When meeting older people, or someone we don't know, jó napot. When leaving in a formal situation, Viszontlátásra. When leaving in an informal situation, viszlát, or szia. It's easy, isn't it? And now it's time for Livia's tips. In formal situations, Hungarian people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. Girls greet their friends, including guys, with a kiss on both cheeks. Girls, don't be afraid to try it with your Hungarian friends. In the last lesson, We learned the most common forms of greetings in Hungarian. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you are asking it in Hungarian, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you are saying, even if their answer is no. Here's the informal way to say it. Beszélsz angolul? Beszélsz angolul. Beszél means to speak. In Hungarian, verbs change depending on the active voice. You don't have to say the pronoun here. It is already built into the verb. Beszélsz means do you speak. Angolul literally means in English, with angol meaning the English language. Beszélsz angolul. We are now going to make this sentence formal. First, we need to use the formal version of you, which is Ön. In this case, you have to include the word in the sentence. Also, we will have to conjugate the verb beszél differently. Beszél ön angolul? Beszél ön angolul? Adding elnézést, excuse me, the sentence becomes even more polite. Elnézést, beszél ön angolul? Elnézést, beszél ön angolul? The responses you will receive Could be one of these three. Igen. Yes. Igen. Egy kicsit. A little. Egy kicsit. Nem, nem beszélek angolul. No, I don't speak English. Nem, nem beszélek angolul. Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to say nem before the verb beszél. Notice also that the verb beszélek is slightly different than beszél. Remember, the verb changes depending on the active voice. Beszélek indicates the first person pronoun, meaning I speak. Adding nem in front of it changes the meaning to I don't speak. Now it's time for Livia's tips. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Hungarian people study other languages at school. So maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute angolul with olaszul for Italian, oroszul for Russian, spanyolul for Spanish, németül for German. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase elnézést, beszél ön angolul? Excuse me, do you speak English? We mentioned the word elnézést, which means excuse me in formal Hungarian. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use elnézést and other words when apologizing in Hungarian. We should use elnézést in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, elnézést, egy kávét kérek. Excuse me, a coffee please. Elnézést, 
egy kávét kérek. We can also use it when asking a question. Elnézést, merre van a vár? Excuse me, where is the castle? Elnézést, merre van a vár? Sometimes we also hear people say, bocsánat, which basically means the same thing as elnézést, and can also be used to get somebody's attention. Bocsánat. We can also use the phrase, ne haragudjon. You might hear this phrase translated as forgive me in English, but it literally means please don't be angry. Since it's quite formal, it's better to simply use elnézést instead. All of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is sajnálom. It means I am sorry and can be used in both formal and informal situations. Sajnálom. And now it's time for Livia's tips. Please remember that in Hungary, if you accidentally bump into someone, you can use both elnézést and bocsánat, meaning excuse me. When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends, but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Egy nő megkér valamire egy eladót a könyvesboltban. Melyik könyvet akarta megnézni a nő? Elnézést. Meg szeretnék nézni egy könyvet azon a polcon. Melyik könyvet szeretné? Az autókról szóló könyvet. Egy pillanat kérem. Ez az? Pontosan. Parancsoljon. Melyik könyvet akarta megnézni a nő? Egy nő megkér valamire egy eladót a könyvesboltban. Melyik könyvet akarta megnézni a nő? Elnézést. Meg szeretnék nézni egy könyvet azon a polcon. Melyik könyvet szeretné? Az autókról szóló könyvet. Egy pillanat kérem. Ez az? Pontosan. Parancsoljon. Egy férfi és egy nő néznek egy étlapot egy étteremben. Mit rendelt a férfi? Mit szeretné rendelni? Ez a pizza finomnak néz ki. Ezt kérek. Én tegnap ettem pizzát, úgyhogy... Ö, akkor mit szólsz ehhez a hamburgerhez? Jól hangzik, ezt kérek. Mit rendelt a férfi?
Egy férfi és egy nő néznek egy étlapot egy étteremben. Mit rendelt a férfi? Mit szeretnél rendelni? Ez a pizza finomnak néz ki. Ezt kérek. Én tegnap ettem pizzát, úgyhogy... Ö, akkor mit szólsz ehhez a hamburgerhez? Jól hangzik, ezt kérek. Egy férfi egy klinikával beszél telefonon. Hány óráig kell a férfinek odaérnie? Halló, miben segíthetek? Meddig vannak nyitva ma? Hat óráig. De fél hat előtt jöjjön, kérem. Rendben. Hány óráig kell a férfinek odaérnie? Egy férfi egy klinikával beszél telefonon. Hány óráig kell a férfinek odaérnie? Halló, miben segíthetek? Meddig vannak nyitva ma? Hat óráig. De fél hat előtt jöjjön, kérem. Rendben. Egy fiú a naplóját olvassa. Mit csinált a fiú legelőször az nap? Ma nagyon jó idő volt. Ezen a délutánon elmentem egy uszodába, és este elmentem megnézni egy filmet. Reggel még tanultam is. Ez egy nagyon jó nap volt. Mit csinált a fiú legelőször az nap? Egy fiú a naplóját olvassa. Mit csinált a fiú legelőször az nap? Ma nagyon jó idő volt. Ezen a délutánon elmentem egy uszodába, és este elmentem megnézni egy filmet. Reggel még tanultam is. Ez egy nagyon jó nap volt. Egy nő és egy férfi egy fényképet néz. Melyik fényképet nézik? Ez a fiad foci csapatának a fényképe, ugye? Melyik a te fiad? Ez az. Ó, ő a legmagasabb a csapatban. Magasabb nálam. Melyik fényképet nézik? Egy nő és egy férfi egy fényképet néz. Melyik fényképet nézik? Ez a fiad foci csapatának a fényképe, ugye? Melyik a te fiad? Ez az. Ó, ő a legmagasabb a csapatban. Magasabb nálam. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection, where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow, and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.